Let's build a set of Lego restaurant dining booths that are scaled for minifigures. What are we waiting for? Let's get started. Let's start with a 4x8 plate. Let's place a 1x2x2 corner plate in the top left. On the left hand side, place a 1x6 plate. On the top, let's set down a 1x6 plate. Now let's slide in an 8x16 plate. Let's set the 1x6 plate right on top of the left hand side so we have a bigger platform to work on. On this side, let's place three 1x2 flat tiles. Let's smooth it off with a tile floor. Next to these tiles, let's set down a 1x6 plate. Place a 1x2 flat tile. On the other side of the 1x6 plate, place three 2x2 two two flat tiles. And finally, a 1x2 flat tile. Now let's continue on, starting with another 2x2 two two flat tile here, and another 2x2 two two flat tile here. Now in this corner, let's place a one by one plate and a one by one flat tile. Now let's finish this off with two one by two flat tiles. I want to keep the pattern of the grid so everything looks symmetric. Now let's fill this side in here with three one by two flat tiles. Let's place two more 1x6 plates on the top. On this side, let's place another 1x6 plate, three 2x2 two two plates with one knob or jumper plates, and another 1x6 plate on the right hand side of the jumper plates. Let's fill in this area with a few 1x2 flat tiles. Starting to look good. Now on this side, let's drop down three more 1x2 flat tiles. Yes, we are going to be flat tiling this whole plate, pretty much. In this area, let's place two 2x2 two two flat tiles. Now here, let's place a 1x1 one one flat tile, a 1x1 one one plate, and two 1x2 one two flat tiles. These studs are going to be used to attach posts to hold up the end of the table. Now let's set down three 2x2 two two flat tiles right here, followed by one by two flat tile. In this area, place a one by six plate. Now on this end, so we can match the grid, let's set down six one by two flat tiles. You can use any floor pattern you wish. I like to keep everything lined up and symmetric. In this area, we can place a 1x2 one and a 1x1 one one flat tile. Let's take two 1x1 one one plates, stack them on top of one another. These are being a bit stubborn. Let's set these plates right across from this stud. Same for this side with two more one by one plates. Sometimes these things are a bit of a challenge to line up. 
Now on the two plates here, let's set down two studs. Now, let's start on the left hand side with six one by two plates with one knob or jumper plates. Let's use the plates without the center stud in the middle where we have these four tabs. So we can set these right in the center of the one by six plate. These are going to be used to offset our benches for our boots. Now you don't even see that gray plate. Let's take six more one by two jumper plates, place them on the right hand side. Now you can see these are kind of getting a bit crooked. A bit of a challenge to line up. So this is something you're going to have to have a little patience with. Now in the middle, let's place a 1x6 flat tile on top of those jumper plates. Now let's continue on covering the rest of the studs with 12. One by two jumper plates. We are literally plating this whole thing up from the bottom. A couple more of these left. Now let's begin the bottom of the benches. Let's take a 1x3 plate, place it right in the center of the 1x2 jumper plate. Now in the center, let's take a 1x6 plate and we're going to set it right in the center as well. Followed by a 1x3 plate on the right. Now we're going to need to take a few of these 1x2 plate with stick we're going to place it where the stick is facing the wall that we will be building later. We're going to place two of these on the right hand side. Now, in the center, let's take two more of these 1x2 plates with stick. Place them to where the stick is on the inside. We'll place two more on the right hand side. Followed by Two more 1x2 plates with stick on the far right hand side, where these are on the outside. Now, let's finish up the bottom with a 1x3 plate, a 1x6 plate, and a 1x3 plate. Now, let's start building the first layer of wall. Let's place a 1x3 brick on the left, followed by a 1x4, a 1x3, and a 1x2 brick right next to the two 1x1 one one plates. Now in the middle, we're going to set down a 1x2 brick, a 1x4 brick, and a 1x2 brick. And to finish up the top right, a 1x2 brick and a 1x3 brick. Now let's start building the actual seat for the benches. Let's take a 1x6 flat tile and a 1x4 plate. Let's place the 1x4 plate on the bottom of the 1x6 flat tile right in the center. And we're going to place it right on the edge of the 1x3 plates. We're going to need to make four of these in total. These are going to be used for the edge of the bench. So we need to back butter four of these so we can fill in this area. It'll make this area look really nice and finished off. Now let's take 
four more one by six flat tiles place them right next to the previous assembly in the middle we want to make sure we have a two by six opening now we have the bottom of the benches now let's level everything off starting on the left hand side with two one by one flat tiles in the center let's place a one by two flat tile on the top and a one by two flat tile on the bottom followed by two one by one flat tiles on the right hand side Let's start the back of the benches with two one by two plates with holders. Set them side by side. Let's take a two by two plate with bow. Let's place it right on top of both one by two plates with holders. Let's take two more two by two plates with bow. Place one on the left and one on the right hand side we're going to need to make four of these in total now on one of the backs let's fill in these two areas with a set of one by one plates we're going to need to make two of these now for one of them let's place a couple of two by two lighter plates on the back now if you have the inverted two by two flat tile you can use those as well this is to finish off one of the backs of the seats this one is going to go against the wall this one's going to be on the outside let's take another back assembly let's place two one by one bricks in these openings Now on the last assembly, let's place this 1x4 plate on top of the 1x2 plates with holders and let's place a 1x6 plate on the top portion of the seat. Now the order of the back of the seats is very important, so let's take this one that has just the 1x1 plates we're going to place it right on the plates with stick. So I have to push that down firm, but it does lock in place. Now, for this one, you need to put this one with the two one by one bricks in first. When you hold down on these, make sure you hold down everything together. Just give it a good push. Let's take this one with the 1x4 and 1x6 plates. Set that one down. And finally, on the right hand side, let's take this one with the glider plates. Lock that one into place. Let's continue on with our wall assembly. Starting with two 1x4 bricks. Let's place another 1x4 brick in the back. Now in this area, let's take a 1x2 inverted 45 degree slope, place it right in that opening, and let's put a 1x1 one one plate in the back. So we have this area sticking out. Now let's continue on with two 1x4 bricks. Same thing with this opening, another one by two in inverted 45 degree slope and a one by one plate that wants to run away from me and on this side let's place down a one by three and a one by two brick now on top of these studs let's place two round bricks finally let's crown off these bricks with two studs this is going to be the post to hold up this end of the table Let's continue another layer of wall, starting with a 1x3 brick and a 1x4 brick. Now in the back, let's place five 1x4 bricks. 
to lock all these levels together. Now let's crown off the top of these studs with a bit of a decoration. Let's start on this side with a 1x2 flat tile. Now let's place two 1x2 plates followed by a 1x2 flat tile. Let's place another 1x2 flat tile in the top left. Now here we're going to set down a 1x2 jumper plate a 1x1 flat tile and another 1x2 jumper plate. Now let's fill in this area with two 1x2 flat tiles. Right here let's place a 1x2 jumper plate, a 1x1 flat tile, and another 1x2 jumper plate. Now let's finish off the far right with a 1x2 flat tile and a 1x1 flat tile. Now let's take a 1x4 plate with bow and a 1x2 plate. Let's back butter the plate with bow. We have this filled in. We're going to set this assembly on the left hand side. Gives us a little added decoration. Let's make two more with another 1x4 plate with bow and a 1x2 plate. Let's place this right on top of the jumper plates. I want to keep this centered up with the table. And let's make another one for this side. Let's construct the top of the table starting with three 2x3 plates. Let's place these side by side. Now, let's place a 1x6 flat tile on the top, followed by two more in the remaining area. This will give our table a nice finished surface. We are going to need to make two of these. Now let's place the top of the tables right on top of the inverted slope and the round brick and plate assembly. There we have our restaurant dining boots. They are compatible with standard Lego minifigures. Here we have Jay the Surfer. He's waiting for his meal that will never arrive. Each booth can seat up to four minifigures, so we can fit up to eight minifigures in this setup. This project is fully customizable and it can be integrated to any LEGO restaurant. If you like this video, be sure to comment your thoughts and click that like button. To show your appreciation, be sure to subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell to get notified of my latest LEGO video content. Check out my other LEGO related videos and visit my social media. Thank you for watching.